Hi, in this guide I'll show you how to create an automated Windows XP install CD. First of all, head over to our site computerforums.org and scroll halfway down the site until you get to the computer articles category. Uh, go into that category and then there's a computer software articles and just scroll a little bit down and take a look at this guide how to create an automated unattended Windows XP install CD in here it will list everything you need uh, with the download links and also a step by step guide I'm going to show you exactly how to do it now first thing to do get your Windows XP CD and put it into your CD-ROM drive uh, click on your CD-ROM drive and you'll get all these files listed just select them all right click and copy uh, go to your local hard drive and create a folder call it whatever you want I've already called, uh, called, created one and called it WinXP so go into there and then paste the files that you just copied from your CD. Now you need to download a program called Nlight. Download it and install it on your machine and then run it. I've installed the program already so I'm just going to launch it. Uh, we want English so click next first thing you need to do is click on browse and then browse to that uh, folder you've just created it's already selected it there so click next okay it's got the information there so click next these are my last sessions I uh, don't want to touch those so click next again okay the first option if you want to include service pack 3 which is the latest service pack select that one if you want to add hotfixes you can select that one if you have any drivers you want to do select that one I'm not going to include these at the moment options we need to include are components unattended options tweaks bootable ISO. Click next and you just have to go through these options. So I'm just going to cancel that and go through all of these tabs. Uh, if there's anything that you don't want to install just select it. For example here briefcase I don't want that so I'm going to select that. Uh, so then just go through every single one there. Once you finish click next OK, on the left hand side of this page, unattended mode, select fully automated. All we want to do is put the CD in and then let the install run and it will completely do everything. You need to make sure you put your product key in. Of course this is just a made up one. Uh, leave that automatic and then just, just again go through the settings if you want to turn off firewall, want to turn off hibernate and then go through every single one of these tabs if you create a, a CD, automated CD and you do get prompted it's because there's something in here we haven't set for example when the install runs it obviously needs a product key if this product key is invalid when the install runs it's going to say product key is invalid enter it again so just make sure that's set correct uh, click next okay full name uh, just put anything in okay again go through all these options and there's a tab there as well select all these options if you want click next OK here. Go through all these options and if you want these implemented in your install just select them. 
I recommend the first three but just go through every single one and tick them if you want it or not if you're unsure uh, let's just take one network if you're unsure for example what this setting is you think you might need it just take a screenshot of it and post it on our forum and we'll be able to help you once you've gone through all of these click on the services tab and here uh, for example I don't want the alerter service to start so if you just double click on it you can see they're disabled all of these are default so it's obviously going to keep the windows default so just go for all the services see which ones you want to you don't want to start click next okay yes this is now going to compile all of the settings that you've just taken if you create a windows xp install cd automated and you put it into your system you, sh you should only uh, choose the C drive you have to create the C drive partition so you set that click next and then the program should automatically run and install windows and boot to the desktop if it doesn't do this you have to run these steps again and if it prompts you for example for the product key make sure that the product key is correct if it prompts you for regional settings go into the regional settings part and make sure regional settings are set and are correct okay